I'm Darcy Drollinger, and this is Hot Trash. Breaking news! Celebrities lie! <laughs> I know, I know! If you can't trust a Kardashian, honey, who can you trust? It turns out the world's youngest billionaire, Kylie Jenner, well, she actually isn't a billionaire at all. Forbes just dropped her ass from the billionaire list. They're like, hey, um, uh, Miss Jenner, yeah, you, um, the kids' table's over there. I love Chuck E. Cheese. Is it skateball or skitball or? Ski ball. Ski ball. I mean, you guys look. Kylie's only got like $900 million. She's like totally poor. It's like really embarrassing. I feel bad for her. Like it smells like poverty around here. Oh, that's me. The best part about the line about her company thing, it could land her in jail. I mean, when Forbes dumps you, they dump you hard. It's like sending revenge porn to the SEC. I mean, can you imagine it? Kardashians in the clink. Or like, orange is the new black Kyliner. Liquid liner pin. Is that really what it's called? Yes. Kyliner? Well, well, I want one. How much does it cost? $18.99. $18.99? I mean, I could buy Wet n Wild or NYX at Ulta or CVS for how much? $7. $7. I mean, well, actually, if you charge a little more, maybe you would become a billionaire. Either way, lock her up. Lock her <laughs> up. And now, talking trash. Did you guys see the Drag Race finale? I mean, it wasn't quite the same, sort of like watching queens lip sync in their living room, but it was cute. Let's give it up for Jada Essence Hall! <laughs> the winner of Drag Race season 12. Is it season 12? I love her, and we actually have her booked at Oasis. Still, she's on hold. They got my money. So when this pandemic is over, you gotta come to Oasis and see her live on stage. Let's talk about the real situation on the finale, and that's RuPaul. Now, RuPaul's not a situation. That was um, Jersey Shores, right? Okay. RuPaul's look was giving me some sort of amazing celebrity look-alike that I wasn't quite sure who it was. Let's see, was it Catwoman? Meow. No. Zora the Gay Blade? Bit. The Hamburglar. Rebel, rebel, rebel. I knew I recognized that masked combo somewhere. God, I'm really craving a cheeseburger right about now. Mm. Heaven! Have you seen the new trend that is taking Instagram by storm? It's the McDonald's arched eyebrows. I mean, what can I say? It's an addiction. And it's starting younger and younger. <laughs> and can someone please check on Madonna? She's posting all this crazy shit. I mean, she just posted that uh, full frontal semi-nude selfie. And, and what about a while back when she posted that video in the bathtub filled with milk and rose petals? That's the thing about COVID-19. It doesn't care about how rich you are. Madge, sweetie, people have lost their jobs. I mean, people have lost their lives. You know what we're not doing? We're not sitting in a bathtub while our servant films us having deep thoughts about corona. We don't have freaking toilet paper. We don't have freaking rose petals or a piano playing behind us. Look, I get it, but we're not all equal. Enjoy the mansion. Celebrity bitch slap. First up, the Glee Club Smackdown. Oh my God. When actress singer Leah Michelle from Glee tweeted her support for Black Lives Matter, she did not expect to get a clap back from fellow castmate Samantha Marie Ware. Wait, where? There. Anyway, Ware was not holding back when she said Michelle made her life a living hell on set and even threatened to shit in her wig. <laughs> like, who says that? Honey, was my wig like this when you gave it to me? Evil de puta! Thanks. Because it kind of smells. Ew! Like poop. And next, it's the end of the West Legend bromance. Oh! 
God, no! Why? Kanye West and John Legend have been doing their own thing ever since Kanye trumped for stump. No, <laughs> stumped for Trump. So Legend reveals in an interview that the two are just in different places. I'm sure it has nothing to do with this. It's the ongoing Trump Twitter feud in which Twitter added fact check links to two of Trump's tweets with false claims about mail-in ballots. Trump responded by signing an executive order stripping the media giant of some of its legal protections around user content. Twitter retaliated by adding warnings to Trump's tweets for inciting violence in Minneapolis. Basically, Jack Dorsey's a total badass! I love you, Jack Dorsey. And Trump is a total Bible-clutching baby who, when he got too scared, retreated to the bunker and then complained that Obama didn't stock it with enough food. I'm sorry, but I love the trending hashtag, bunker bitch. Can you picture Melania in the bunker? I mean, what would she say? Bunker be best. Be best bunker. Meanwhile, outside of the bunker. And now, keeping up with the Karens. First up, Bike Path Karen. Do get out of I my am way. An American get out of my way. Right to get out of my way. The law. You are assaulting me. Mexican music Karen. Bye. 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 FedEx Karen. You can move the cart. It's simple. Just move it to the side of the road. This is gonna hurt you more than me. Really? Yeah. So we either apologize and give me your name. Apologize for what? Central Park, Karen. Please don't come close to me. Sir, I'm asking you to stop recording. Please, please don't come close to me. Please take your phone off. Please don't come close to me. I'm taking pictures of calling the cops. Please, please call the cops. Please call the cops. I'm going to tell them there's an African-American man threatening my life. Space, Space Karen! Karen! There are even good Karens. Okay, okay, oh my God, that is too many Karens. I mean, I can't keep up with it. I'm in a freaking Karen K-hole. I mean, can I speak to the manager? I mean, do you know who I am? And now, the hashtag trash tag. Send me a hashtag challenge and I'll do it. Or at least I'll try to do it. I mean, I love a good challenge. This week, it's the hashtag snack challenge where adorable kids are challenged not to eat the tempting snack. Watch. You're gonna wait for mommy? Okay, wait for me and then you have three, okay? Okay. Okay, wait for me. Okay. Wait. Is that Kylie Jenner's kid? Yeah. yeah. Does she know her mom's poor? Okay, Darcy, don't drink the wine. Got it? Got it. Drink the wine. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. All right, all right, all right. Gosh, don't drink the wine. Right. I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you. Patience. Patience. <laughs> oh my God, we just said don't drink it. Oh God, that's good. I'll get it. Hello? Yes, this is Darcy. You want a drag name? Okay, well, like, what are you into? Or like, what do you do for a living? A computer programmer. Okay, uh, let me think. I got it! A Dell laptop! Hello? You're welcome. Venmo me $5 and I will give you a drag name. It's that easy. I'll get it. Oh, I think it's my other line. Hello? Oh, God! It's a social media shout out! Here are the winners and losers on social media this week. Next up, Hollywood Trash. 
Celebrities are joining protests across the country in the wake of George Floyd's murder by police. Celebrities like Jamie Foxx, Killer Mike, Ariana Grande, Michael B. Jordan, Halsey, Jane Fonda, John Cusack got pepper sprayed. I mean, it's fucking nuts. Even Lady Gaga slammed Trump on Insta, calling him a racist and a fool, all while sporting a really hot pink mask. By the way, she's also selling pink jock straps as part of her album merch. I mean, she really does know her audience. And Becky's going to the slammer. That's right, Lori McLaughlin no. is going. What? Oh, sorry. Lori Laughlin, not Kyle McLaughlin. Kyle McLaughlin is not in trouble for a college submissions, submissions, admission <laughs> scandal. Lori Laughlin and her husband both pled guilty to the college admission scandal over Zoom. You can do that now if you're a rich white asshole. You don't have to show up in court. Just think of all the Hallmark movies she can make when she gets out. A Shiv to Remember, Fuller House Arrest, Love Does Time, Orange is the New Becky, and the Christmas classic, The Most Wonderful Crime of the Year. <laughs> Does anyone have some eggnog? Catherine O'Hara gave the best virtual acceptance speech for her Canadian Screen Award for Schitt's Creek. I love that show. Uh, I feel like one very lucky lady to have worked on Schitt's Creek with my what the fuck, no? <laughs> with my uh, my dear friend Eugene Levy and his infinitely talented son Daniel and and the uh, wonderful writers and directors and our dreamy castmates and crew members and our great bosses at CBC and and uh, and my sweet brother Michael and in trash that came out this week. Disney features its very first gay lead character in the Pixar short Out, out on Disney Plus this week. It's also out of this world, and it's out of, no, well, okay, I'll stop. It features Matthew Martin, San Francisco's living legend who is a dear friend of mine and also stars as Blanche Devereaux in the Golden Girls Live, which you can watch on Oasis TV. Product placement. Hey everyone, do you want me to call Matthew and congratulate him? Yeah! Okay, okay. It's ringing. Hello? Oh, hey Matthew, it's Darcy. Oh, Darcy. Hey, um, we love out over here on Hot Trash and we'd love to talk to you a little bit about it. I mean, how was your experience filming it and what are your feelings now that it's out? Oh, honey, that's so sweet of you to call, and yes, I am so thrilled and proud and happy to be part of such a progressive Pixar production out, and I really, really want to thank my friend Stephen Hunter, who was the man but what the fuck, hell, Stephen Hunter was the man behind the production, and Max Sachar was the producer, and my friend Jim Roderick was really instrumental in helping me get the part, and all the um, people uh, that are Okay, uh, and I, I have thanks, so dear. Uh, about being talk to you later. With this project. Oh my God, you guys, have you heard Britney Spears' new single she just released? Let's listen. This song is called Luring. It's cool, there's no copyright infringement. Dancing mm. in the video in Chinese. I think that this footage is from 03. Leave Britney alone! And now, a cat does a thing. And finally, Fast Trash. Play your favorite music, take drugs, sleep on the floor, bam, Coachella. What time is it? It's wine o'clock. Finally, tiramisu Oreos. Where's the booze? Cloudy, with a chance of tear gas. <coughs> Stay safe out there. Thank you so much for tuning in to Hot Trash. I'm Darcy Drollinger. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. But before we go, here's one last trash.
you um you had you 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 could you do you you want you you could do so you you do. I tried.